Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to study how you can analyze in Math 1 analytics to competition thanks to RSS feed. So here is typically what we would like to achieve at the end of the day. So I have my dashboard and on my dashboard I will have several widgets and one which is the um, RSS one of my first competitor, second one, third one and fourth one. So what you need in order to achieve this is of course to get the RSS feed from the different let's say website that you would like to analyze. Then you need to understand how widgets are working. So in this given video we are going to um, let's say just modify an existing widget which is already available in Matomo Analytics which is displaying the RSS feed of Matomo Org, but here you get the full documentation explaining you how widget is working. So we're just going to um, create, let's say, a widget, some widgets, but based on existing uh, widgets. So like this, we won't have to create a full widget on our own. So uh, this is how it will look like at the end. So here I created a dashboard which I named competition. And in this given dashboard, I added the different RSS feeds. So as you can see here, I can really analyze what the competition is doing in just uh, one straight way. So this one website, another one, another one, and my website. So like this, I can compare, in fact, the different content uh, that they're writing about, um, um, let's say about the refreshment date, and it's uh, it's kind of interesting to have like an overview. So of course here, uh, Matomo you can do it in it, but most of the time uh, you are using other software in order to do it, such as probably Hotsuite or any other software like this. But I'm just going to explain you how you can do it in Matomo Analytics. So in Matomo Analytics, you have here on the dashboard the possibility to pick up uh, the RSS. Uh, and here you get, in fact, the one about matumo.org, or basically you can even find some of those RSS feed over here. So that's the first thing that you need to know is that this widget already exists. So all you need to do in order to play with it is to go on uh, your plugins folder. And then within your plugins folder, you will have one plugin which is named RSS uh, widget. And within this RSS widget, if I just go one level like this, you will see that you have one folder which is named widgets, right? And this is in this one that if you look into it, see the uh, widget, you will already have uh, two widgets which are created. So in my case, I have several, I have uh, five as you can see, but you normally you get this one and you get this one. So the only thing uh, that you need to do is just to copy this one, so you just uh, perform like a sudo ct air as uh, in my case it's going to be um, pweek.php and then you name it whatever you want right it doesn't really matter but just give it an explicit name in order for you to be able to find it back so in my case i'm just going to take like uh, i'm just going to call it like fake.php okay fake.php and then you do sudo nano rss uh, fake.php and here, so is the, let's say it's already up and running, but you need to modify here the class. Okay, so here in your case, as you just name uh, it, so it's RSS fake in my case, then this is the category to which you would like to add your widget to. So in my case, RSS, which stands for this given category, right? I want to have all my different RSS feed at the same place. Um, then in my case, what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to probably add an RSS feed, which is going to be the one of, of Matomo, for example, right? So I'm going to go back on uh, the Matomo's website. I'm just going to do something like this and like this. Okay, and if I go over here, probably I can get the blog. Yes, okay, great, over here, and I can guess the SS feed like this. Okay, this is the RSS feed. So all I need is just basically to take this one out. And then if I go over here, um, so this is the title of your widget. Okay, so I can just write like Matomo blog, Matomo blog. And the last information that you need to modify is the following one. Okay, and this one corresponds to the location of the RSS feed. So I repeat, in order to have this widget working, all you need is to indicate over here where the RSS feed is located. Then this part is about the title of your widget. And this part is about uh, the category you would like to assign it to. And the most important part is, of course, you need to give a class which corresponds to 
uh, the name of the file that you created. Then uh, once it's finished, you just uh, write out and then you just uh, save it. And then you need to access back to your, um, to your Matomo. You just refresh your page. And here in my case, I'm gonna add the RSS feed that I just uh, created, which is called RSS fake, which correspond to the Matomo RSS feed, you see, and here I get, so here, the name is Matomo blog, because that's the name that I gave it to, and as you can see, I can add it, so now I get like five RSS feeds, so of course it's not like um, interesting, I just need to have all my competitors, and like this, in just one more, I can check everything out. And that's it uh, for today. So I really hope uh, that you enjoy this uh, tiny video. The idea is really for you to be able to edit an existing widget in order to make it variable, such as um, analyzing what your competition is doing in terms of content based on the RSS feed. In order for you to go further, please feel free uh, to create your own widget based to the official Matomo's developer documentation. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to share it on social network and create as well your own example.